Okay, you see the ducting? Now I removed the filter. This is the filter. And that filter just goes up like that. So basically your filter area is only the size of the size of the circle. It's not the size of this because it's sucked up in there. Now, if the filter was way down here, right, and held right in place where it's supposed to be, then your filter area would be all the way, if there was 14 square inches this way, and you went down 24 square inches that way, you would times that and you could come up with how many square inches of filter area you have. But when your filter is sucked up like this, whatever the circle opening is, you just cut off all this for filtering area and you made more restriction. And this is too restricted as it is. So this is going, this goes goodbye. Okay, and so I'll get the right filter for this. And, okay, this is an 18 inch, an 18 inch circle and they made it into an oval. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, that's an 18 inch duct, but look at that duct. Does it look round? It's immediately bent over at a 90 degree. Here's my hand, nine inches, right? Check this out. From where my thumb is, I'm about nine and a half inches in diameter. So this 18 inch duct for a return is reduced down to 19 inches from here to here. And then from here, it's less than 19. So from about here, where's my finger? From my finger to the farthest part there is about 16 inches. So the total circumference open here is nine and a half inches by say 16 inches. But the whole opening should be equivalent of an 18 round, 18 or 20 inch round opening. But it's bent over and so it's reduced. So that's air restriction. So we have air restriction from the filter and air restriction from the bad ducting.